We are now approaching the bridge. This bridge has been standing for a hundred years, slightly over a hundred years. It was constructed in 1905. 1905. This is where we do official bungee. How many of you are trying to do bungee? Yeah. Jane, you must be the first one. And Arun, your present for the... Sorry? The president is coming to Greek Aruns, that's why we had to stop here. <laughs> we offer you guys a free bungee on a birthday for free. <laughs> uh, those who are sitting on your right hand side, if you keep an eye to your right, you see your hotel. Those ones, we're not allowed to stop on the bus on this on the bridge, so we cannot stop. Just a glance of your hotel on your right, and then a glance of the falls on your left. And down here, be, be, behind, below the, the bridge, there's a boiling pot. You see, it looks like it's boiling. That's why they call it a boiling pot. There's a bit of the falls on the left. Can you see that? Yes. You can say goodbye to the falls. There's another, that's a, we call it a, a, a narrow bridge, which joins those two islands. From Zambia, you can only walk through that uh, knife edge to the east island here. So you can only see about 10% of the falls from Zambia. You saw about 90% from, from my side. We are now in Zambia. We are now in Zambia, the Livingstone town. At one stage, Livingstone town was the capital city of Zambia. At one stage it was the capital city of Zambia, but they had to move it up to to to, to Lusaka because there was not, not enough space to expand for the town to expand. And the weather here was a little bit warm. So that, that is why they had to move it up to to Lusaka. It's about six hundred kilometers from Livingston town to Lusaka. Welcome to Zambia, everybody. Welcome to Zambia. See lots of mango trees, all these huge trees on the side of the road. Mango trees. Mango trees. There's a building in front of us, slightly to the left. That's the Livingston Museum. The Livingston Museum. See, the school kids are coming from the museum. Children. To the left, that's the Livingston Museum on the left side. Livingston Museum. <coughs> We're approaching the central part of Livingston Town. Auto World, on your left hand side, Auto World. This is where we buy our spares for, for our old cars. Spares are cheaper in Zambia than in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Angry lion on the right side. Are you angry lions? Are you hungry lions? <laughs> uh, the money they use in Zambia is called kwacha. The money they use in Zambia is called kwacha, and the exchange rate of uh, kwacha to dollar, you get approximately, you get approximately five thousand kwacha, five thousand kwacha to a dollar. You get approximately five thousand kwacha to a dollar, and I hate that they want to remove zeros. They want to remove uh, zeros like what you used to do in Zimbabwe a few years back. Our money was losing value every day. And our inflation rate was about was about uh, 20, 25, 20, 2,500 percent inflation rate. So every three four months we used to remove zeros out of our money. Our biggest denomination was a hundred trillion. A hundred trillion. Did I tell you a story about our trillion? Yes. Did I? Thanks. 
we'll shortly be coming to Livingston Airport. Francis, thank you very much for your guiding. Look after yourselves and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. It's very unfortunate. I have to say goodbye. I know it's sad to say goodbye, but I have to say goodbye. Thank you very much for coming, ladies and gents. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You are a very good group, uh, let me just say that. Of course, the first day you didn't want to ask so many questions, but as it goes, I was so happy because everybody was participating and was asking many, many, many questions. Thank you very much. You were very easy to, for me to handle. And uh, please come back again next week. I didn't ask the group, but I want to speak on behalf of the group. You have made our trip very pleasant here. Oh, thank you. Very yeah. pleasant. Mpumalanga. Now, dear Francis, on you now. I'll explain what does Mpumalanga mean. The rising of the sun. That's it. The other that. guy told me. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Mpumalanga means so to come out, and Langa is sun, so it's the place where the sun comes out. Oh. The sun rises. So it's Mpumalanga. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Ye
And of course, a lot of mangoes, avocados. Yeah, avocados grow prolifically here in this climate. John, with all the mountains, here, do you have snow? No, we don't. We are sitting down. This area is called the Low Felt. The low-lying area, as opposed to Johannesburg, is referred to as the High Felt. I told you, Johannesburg is five and a half thousand feet above sea level. Here at the moment, we're probably about two and a half thousand feet. And by the time we get to Kruger, we'll be down to about one and a half thousand feet above sea level. What are those pink trees? Those pink what did you see? The pink trees? Yeah. They call it Tipushina. Oh, Tipushina. Tipushina. time of year they do they flower. Although this is coming into our winter, they are a winter flowering tree. And um, of course winter is relative. When I say it, uh, it's the winter, we never get below freezing here. 